All right, so here we're going to review how to make an object uh, move in a circular motion. So first we're going to make it game object create other sphere. Um, I'm also going to make it a light. So game object create other point light. Um, so I'm going to attach it to the sphere. You left click to drag and then let go. And now it's inside sphere. Uh, the point light, I'm going to make it blue and stronger and farther. So we also need to center it onto the sphere, so zero, zero, zero. Now it's inside the sphere. And it's a little pink because of the white light up here. So now we have a sphere, but if we press play and look at our game, uh, it's just hovering there and not doing anything. So we want it to move in a circle. So we're going to do that with the script. So go in Assets, Scripts. If you haven't made it, right click, Create, Folder, and then just write Scripts. So down here, right click, Create, C Sharp Script. I'm going to call it Oscillator. Um, and we also need to attach it to this guy. So click on our sphere. Um, and over here, add component oscillator. So if we didn't add this, oscillator would just be a text file just sitting there doing nothing. But now it's actually attached to the game, and it will, it will, uh, it will happen. Things will happen with it. So open this up in Mono Develop. All right. So just like before, we need to keep track of our time. And we're going to keep it at zero because uh, at time at one second has passed, it'll be a different position than when two seconds have passed or three. So we need to, to keep track of it. And again, we're going to do every time there's a frame, we're going to add how long it took for that frame to happen. So once two seconds have passed, times the counter will be two. When four and a half seconds have passed, this will be four and a half. So we're going to start with getting all our coordinates for where we want to go, where we want to move it. And to actually change the position of our oscillator, uh, which is attached to our sphere, the, the position of our sphere is the transform, which holds our position, rotation, and scale info. Here we want position. Position is a vector 3, and then x, y, z. Now right now it's just going to do 0, 0, 0. But we actually want it to change as time changes, so we need to get time counter into this somehow. Uh, what we're going to do is use uh, some trig functions, sine and cos, uh, and they accept radians. So if those are all new words, uh, just have to ask about it later. I'm just going to go ahead and, and just do it. So to get trig functions, we'll go uh, actually x is cos. And I'm going to put y as sine. And see what that looks like. So save it and go back into Unity. So our sphere, it's uh, centered at 0, 0, 0, and it's moving in a circle slowly. So that's pretty good. And the light's moving with it. It's cool. We're going to spruce this up a little bit. So go back into mono. Um, I'm going to add speed, width, and height of the circle. So float speed, float width, float height. And in start, we're going to do it here. It's usually better to declare them here and then do equals 0 here to initialize it in a start than what I did up here. Don't do this usually. Um, so we just need to put speed, width, and height in. Oh, I'm going to make it fast. I'm going to make it 4 wide and 8 or 7 high. And right here, you just multiply the time by your speed. And then here, we're going to multiply this by our width and this times our height. I'm going to move this over to 10 so we can actually see the 
whole thing. There we go. So now it's over there. All right, so it's moving pretty fast in an ellipse.